Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for um, a mean difference in paired data using Minitab. All right. And so there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do this with raw data, or you can use it with summarized data. So in this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do this with summarized data. And we'll um, speak of this in the context of this problem here. All right. So I have um, 10 men uh, diagnosed with high cholesterol, and then this is their cholesterol levels before taking a drug, and the cholesterol levels one year after. And so we want to test um, whether the population difference is um, greater than zero, right? Okay. Oh, actually, in this case, we're seeing whether the before minus after is greater than 20. Okay, this is example two from chapter 9.1. So, and you can see the mean, so if you look at this D, that's the difference between before and after. And you can see the sample mean is 32. So we're actually testing, you know, is this um, big enough, is this further enough above 20 for us to believe that the population mean difference is greater than 20? All right, so we're going to do this in Minitab, and we're just going to enter the uh, summarized data. But um, before, you know, to get there, um, we're going to follow this first sequence of events. So I'm going to go over to Minitab. I'm going to click on the Stat menu item, Basic Statistics, and I'm going to go down to Paired. All right? And a little dialog box opens up. And up here, you get to choose whether or not there's each sample is in a column. That's, that's raw data. But here, I'm just going to enter the summarized data of differences. Right? So that means I go to this row of um, differences, and I just want the mean and the standard deviation, and actually the sample size, for the differences. And the sample size is 10. I've already done this. So the sample size is 10, but you would just enter that. The sample mean is 32, and the sample standard deviation is 15.4. So you need to know that information if you're going to use the summarized data. Now I'm going to go to my options, and I get a confidence level. That's for a confidence interval that gets produced at the end. We're really worried about the hypothesis test. And here we put in the hypothesized difference. In this case, we're hypothesizing that the difference is greater than 20. So 20 is what I put in here. And then the alternate hypothesis, I get to choose less than, not equal to, or greater than. In our case, we're hypothesizing that the mean difference is greater than that in the null hypothesis. So we're good to go. We hit OK, and then OK again. And um, basically, it, it reiterates the information that I just put in, the, the sample size, the sample mean, the standard deviation. Um, and then it gives me the results of my t-test. Right? The t-value, the test statistic, is 2.46. Uh, but what we're most interested in is the p-value. It's 0 0.018. So depending on our significance level, um, if we have a significance level of 0.05, we would reject the null. If we had a significance level of 0.01, we would not. Um, so that actually depends on, uh, on the significance level. But if we have a 0.05 significance level, then we reject the null, and we'd get to say, um, yes, we have uh, sufficient data to believe that the population mean difference is actually greater than 20. Really easy. Mini-tab uh, hypothesis test for mean differences. Bye.